So, today is day five, and I go to the physical therapist again. Um, so, just kind of showing you how I get to the car. Um, yeah, especially since my my left leg was operated on, my right leg is fully functional. I think I took a, a little longer, probably two weeks before I was driving, when it was my right leg that was affected. Uh, but, yeah, with my left leg being operated, I'm pretty functional. this as much as you can. Uh, I also want to slide the seat back as much as you can. Pop the crutches in. I like having this bag so I don't have to carry anything in my hands. It's all my prescriptions. I should keep my uh, Tylenol in there. <laughs> so, I'm back into my seat. See, it just kind of clears the door. I'm five foot seven, so if you're any taller, it might be difficult. But this is a small car too, so with that, I have plenty of room. Reach the gas pedals, the brakes. Can you zoom in on that? No problem. But you can see that this is not elevated. So, like yesterday, I had an hour-long trip, and luckily, uh, my wife's dad was able to drive me in this and I was in the back with my pillows plop plopped up sitting in the back but today uh, it's only a five minute drive so I'm gonna go drive myself all right so just want to show you real quick how to go about peeing I mean most of the time I'm peeing in the bed using those containers that I'll show you in a second um, but otherwise yeah usually I keep one crutch with me and just all right so now I want to show you how to poop which is a lot trickier than peeing. You want to back up and then put your crutches away. Hopefully you have some space here because you're, at least my knee really doesn't need some space. And then just, I don't know, I put my hand on the lid itself, just ease myself down. Um, and of course your pants are going to go down. So I have my boxers on, but I'll put, because this is actually tricky, so I'll show you. So, usually I'm kind of upper, and I'll start putting my pants down, and do the boxers on. And then, so, with your unaffected leg, get that out first. And of course, you know, take off your underwear too. And then, yeah, I usually just let that hang there. And then, yeah, you can poof from there. Okay, so now the moment you've all been waiting for. So these are my three pee buckets. This is the one that they gave me from the hospital. It's like a little portable urinal. And you just kind of put it down. You can just pee right into it. And then I have a little three-gallon bucket there. I just dump it into once uh, once this gets full. But this was only like one liter. And I drink a lot of water. I drink like two gallons a day. So I end up peeing a lot. So I bought off Amazon. And I'll have links in the show notes. But this guy, um, which will... Yeah, because, I don't know, it was kind of annoying because I'd, like, be peeing in this, and I'm like, oh, it's almost full, it's almost full, and uh, I don't know, I just didn't want to worry about it. So this one's, this one is, like, two liters, or I think almost three liters, and then this one is two liters. Um, so, I don't know, I haven't used this one yet, but this one's been pretty good. Um, I don't know, I'm sure some people would like this one. There are, like, kind of more female-shaped ones. I guess these are more male-shaped ones. Um, so, like, the female ones kind of more have a funnel style. But yeah, definitely, you know, when you're in bed and you have like all this stuff on you and you don't want to take crutches to the, the bathroom, um, I don't know. Yeah, definitely. I recommend getting these pee bottles. Cool. Okay. I'm going to attempt to do some pull-ups. Day six. So, this will be my second shower. Yep, last time I went to our downstairs shower, which is a walk-in, an attempt to do it in our tub shower. Let's see how that goes. So, no braces, no wraps. They say still don't like rub your knee or anything, but just let water run under it. Okay. 
take my box for that. <laughs> okay. This will only be my second shower in six days. stand-up shower I kept the crutches nearby in case I needed them but it should be pretty stable here and uh, yeah should be good to go so I decided to have some outdoor time help build the fire um, you know the kids have really been helpful especially since I've been down um, anyway they helped me build the fire anyway now I'm going to show you a new exercise I learned uh, at physical therapy um, going three days a week and so this is a new one. Uh, everything else has been the same, but basically got on my belly for the first time today. And it requires you to lift your affected leg. I needed a helper because I didn't want to lift it myself on my own power. So sent my wife uh, lifted my leg, put a pillow under it, and then you try to stiffen out your, um, your quad so that you straighten your leg. So it's kind of like a reverse leg straighten. Um, anyway, seemed to be a pretty good exercise so you can see me trying or attempting to straighten my leg here and try to hold for five seconds um and just do that repeatedly yep so that's the exercise hope you guys have been enjoying these videos and uh, if you're on your own acl journey i really wish you the best of luck godspeed